Shalom Aleichem, my dear brothers and sisters. By now you probably have all heard about the current situation in the world with the coronavirus. And I just wanted to uh, tell you a little bit of what's going on here in New York currently. Describe the situation a little bit. So right now we are pretty much on lockdown, meaning all businesses are closed almost all businesses except like food transportation something that's uh, what they call essential businesses um, schools are closed so kids are now homeschooling so our kids are actually homeschooling they have classes from morning until uh, about 4 30 p.m or so um, and uh, you know life has pretty much come to a halt over here in New York, the state of New York, and because we had some, uh, you know, a lot of actually cases of people getting sick with coronaviruses, and so the situation is not so good, and um, don't really know much about what to think of it, you know, unfortunately nowadays we don't have profits as we had in the ancient days, you know, in the ancient days when something like this happened, there was a prophet usually who would tell you know the people exactly why this has happened and what needs to be corrected uh, but nowadays we don't have prophets and we don't really have anybody to turn into for guidance and with this virus the problem is that even the doctors cannot help uh, because there is no cure for it yet at least God willing, may may God, you know, allow the people to discover the cure soon. But as of, as of right now, there is no cure. So, uh, so so that's why the situation is bad because there is no cure and there is not much, you know, the doctors can do other than just try to support. But then, you know, when a lot of people are rushing into the hospital, there is only a certain amount of beds the hospitals have and a certain amount of staff. So um, that's what makes the situation bad. But, you know, this reminds me in the Torah, there was a, an episode where it says that uh, there was an epidemic that broke out where people began to die. And uh, God ordered Aaron, peace be upon him, the priest, the brother of Moses, to uh, take incense which was like the, the fragrance, certain sacrifices that were brought uh, to God. And he ordered him to basically take incense and, you know, run around the camp between the people who are uh, dead and the people who are alive to stop the plague. And that's how the plague was stopped. But, you know, back then we had prophets. We had Moses, Aaron, Miriam, Miriam. Peace be upon all of them. And, you know, this, there was a solution to the situation. But nowadays, you know, right now we don't have prophets. And that's one of the, uh, that's, that's one of the disadvantages that our generations, our generation has, that we have no prophets and nobody to turn in, to turn to for guidance. Um like uh, you know in the ancient days when a person was even sick all he had to do is go to a prophet find out exactly why he's sick why god is doing this to him the prophet would tell him exactly why and then the prophet would actually tell him the cure what to do and he would do it and that's it and the person would get uh, healed in fact we have a story uh, where the king of a neighboring country of israel got sick got leprosy well actually it's called tsarat sometimes they mistranslate it as leprosy but it's not really leprosy a different type of illness but anyway so he got sick and he came to uh, israel and he was sent to a jewish prophet and the prophet told him exactly what to do he had to bathe in the river i think seven times something like that in the jordan river and and he was healed so back in the back in the back, back in the days the prophets would uh be all that we needed meaning we did not even need doctors in ancient israel there was no doctors there was no purpose for doctors the prophets would 
uh, heal the sick by telling them exactly what God wants them to do. And nowadays we don't have that, and that's actually part of the punishment that we are still suffering today when God took away our prophets, as he predicted in the Torah, in the book of Deuteronomy, where God said to the Jewish people that I will hide myself from you, I will hide my face from you, meaning that he will not communicate with us, and, and therefore we are suffering the consequences. But on the good note, I'm hoping that uh, God willing, um, God will bring us a cure, and you know, and He will bring Mashiach, God willing, soon. And hopefully, maybe this is uh, gonna eventually turn out to be good with God's help. And um, this brings a verse to my mind. Uh, and the verse is in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 20. And when you get a chance, please read this verse. I think this, is, this verse speaks directly to you and me. Uh, whether you are Jewish, uh, whether you are a follower of the seven laws of, no of God, or the seven laws of Noah, which God gave to Noah, peace be upon him. Uh, and uh, I wish you all stay safe. And may God help you not to get sick and not to get negatively affected by this whole situation to you, your loved ones. And uh, we'll stay in touch. Thank you.